Angel, I'm 26 years old. I lived in a home with a single mother. My dad, he, he left the house. So I grew up having a lot of hatred inside of me. I thought that it was my fault. As time went on, my life started changing. I started getting involved with the wrong people, with the wrong crowds. At the age of 10, I tried uh, marijuana for the first time. When I turned 12, I joined it again. I got um, jumped into a gang. I saw the, the cars that they were driving. I saw the drugs, the weapons, the girls. But once you join, it's a completely different story. Because what's promised to you, you don't, you never get. There is no way back. If you get out, the only way you're gonna get out is if you die. Something that has started as a joke, like smoking cigarettes, smoking marijuana. I started uh, making small robberies in the stores, and I started getting involved in, in criminal activities with the gangs. I remember my job in the schools was to bring the drugs inside the, the school, the middle schools, and to bring the youth from the from the school into the gang. I remember I was outside of a club one night. It was a, a Saturday night and I was waiting outside and they were not allowing me inside the club anymore because every time I would go in there, it would just be chaos, fighting, people getting hurt, people getting stabbed, people ending in the hospital. So I had to wait outside. And in this period of time, it was like 30 minutes of waiting outside. A car drove by. And I noticed that this car started making a circle around the parking lot and it came towards me. And once it got in front of me, they showed me a gun, a 38, and they told me this is for you and they just started shooting. And the car that, I, that it was next to me blocked the bullets from hitting me. My reaction was to retaliate against this gang. I became an addict to marijuana, cocaine, alcohol, pills. My lowest point was at 22 when I went inside the, the jail and I was facing a sentence of 25 years in prison. And I was an addict. I lost everything. Everyone that was around me left. They all went to jail. My family rejected me. And there was a time that I called home. I called my, my family. I mentioned to a relative that I that I wanted a change, that I wanted to seek a better life. And this person said, hey, I know a place where you can receive help. They're not gonna judge you. And I said, well, if I ever get out of this place, that's what the first place I'm gonna go. And inside the cell, I remember it was a Friday night around three in the morning. I cried out to God. I said, God, I accept my mistakes. I know that I've been wrong, but if you exist, like I have heard that you exist, then show me because I want to see, I want to know you. And if you give me a second chance, I promise you that I'll serve you and I'll seek you. And one morning, the, the, the door from my cell, it opened. Around four in the morning, there was a man in a suit standing there, and I thought, well, maybe I'm getting transferred. The person called out my name and I said, yeah, it's me. Am I getting transferred? And this person said, no, grab your stuff because you're being free. You're free to go. And that's how when I got out of jail, I came to the Universal Church. And the first day I came to church, I, I made the decision of being faithful to God and started placing Him in first place in my life. And I started listening to the man of God that was preaching, I thought to myself, if in the streets I gave my life, I gave everything, now that I'm here that God has given me a second chance, I have to give more of myself to Him. I got baptized in the waters, and after that, I heard about the importance of me receiving the Holy Spirit. And I thought to myself, well, peace is something that I have never had. I want this peace. I want this new life. Till I, till I got that day that marked my life, because the day that I received the Holy Spirit, that I was baptized with the Holy Spirit, 
the emptiness was filled by the Holy Spirit. I remember that day I went back home and I just immediately, I just had the desire of, of showing Jesus to my family. Whenever I faced a problem, my reaction was not the same negative reaction. I'm completely cured, delivered from addictions. I'm completely cured and delivered from these voices that would chase after me. Now, I'm happily married and now I'm serving God because I remember, and I'll never forget that, that night in that jail cell, when I cried out to God, I said, God, if you give me one chance, I'm gonna make things right. And for the rest of my life, I'm gonna serve you. And there is no better privilege, no better place than to serve God than in his house.